Hey guys, Brett. Today, on Topo Ranger, on this episode, we're going tunnel hunting. Uh, it's always fun, right? Crawl around tunnels, hopefully walk through tunnels. Right now, <clears throat> I'm in the uh, big tunnel on Green Hill Road down, uh, down by Shanks Ferry. Wild Flower Preserve. The road I'm standing on here is Green Hill Road. And this tunnel goes under the Enola Low Grade Trail, which is basically the path where the rails used to run for the Enola Low Grade line and now it's they're turning it into or have turned it into a nice hiking trail uh previous episode man's run waterfall that was also the enola logan trail i'm quite a bit uh south of that now um you hear the birds outside today Got some cool textures going on here in the walls. You can see, I think this is probably sandstone. But you can see the sandstone has been worn away in places, creating these very interesting looking remnants. There's another one up here. So the first step in this tunnel hunt is we have to get up there. We have to climb up the embankment here on the outside of this tunnel to get up to the level of the trail, which is probably 50, 60 feet straight above my head here. And then we're going to hike north towards a place called Brenner Hollow which I think is about a mile, a mile and a quarter, maybe a mile and a half from this location. Susquehanna is going to be on our left-hand side. Uh, we're in Lancaster County, so we're on the, uh, the east side of the river here. And in between here and Brenner Hollow, there are, or there should be, about four tunnels going underneath trail. I think. I haven't seen these for myself. Uh, I'm judging this based upon what I'm looking at on terrain maps, topo maps, Google maps, whatever. Um, and also, again, I have to give a shout out to Uncharted Lancaster because he's posted a lot of pictures of tunnels along this trail, which have kind of uh, made me curious about what's down here. So thank you for that. Um, here we are at the entrance. I don't know what the date is on this tunnel. I'm not sure the Enola, the trail itself, when it was done for the trains, I want to say it was in the early 1900s, but don't quote me on that. Got some polypore action going on here. These are kind of, these are kind of dead. Yeah. Oh, geez, look at that. Yeah. They don't seem to be thriving. So here's the tunnel. Up there is the trail. We've got time. We've got water. We've got 2,500 lumens of light should be able to light up about anything. Let's get this party started, all right? Oh, found two tunnels already. There's a uh, kind of a stream bed that runs parallel to Green Road here. And these two tunnels, I had taken a picture of these before, put them up on the Topo Ranger Instagram feed, which is Topo underscore Ranger. 
please go there, check it out, and hit follow. Uh, I think these were built around the same time. And these tunnels take the stream underneath the trail, and they run parallel to, to the big tunnel there. I think each of these is about 200 feet long, which is pretty long. And here's the other one. You can see the light from the other end pretty far. They're dry right now, and I do want to go through these. Although for right now, why don't we focus on getting up to the trail and seeing if the tunnels we think are up there are actually up there, right? So uh, let's get started. Take it easy. Good. How are you? Good. All right, so the Safe Harbor Dam, which is a little bit, a little bit beyond Brenner Hollow, where the first tunnel should be, according to that sign, is 1.2 miles, which is about what I thought it would be. Our first tunnel shouldn't be more than a quarter mile up ahead, so let's go check it out. There's some type of metal. Metal tube punched into the rock there. I wonder what that is. I think this is the schist. Our old, our old friend, the schist. Here's some, uh, here's some embedded quartz nodules. Got vultures. We're at our first probable tunnel location. Uh, I don't know the name of the stream coming down here, but there's a trail that leads right off the main trail going down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's probably it. So it looks like we have a double tunnel here. And they look to be tall enough to walk through. They're, uh, they're a lot higher than they are wide. Here's some faded, some faded paint, 25, 45. I guess that's a, a way to label the tunnels. See this kind of rocky stream comes down. And you can see there's a lot of debris, a lot of debris here. In fact, starting from this line right there, this entire mound here is just debris. Giant logs forced down by the power of the water.
Not much flow right now, though. Let's get down in here. There you can see the amount starts right there, goes up to there. It's like we got a brick, a brick ceiling. The floor is concrete aggregate. And the walls, just big blocks of schist there. This looks probably, I'd say it's at least 200 feet. We gotta go under this, the whole, the entire width of the trail. So let's get our light out and uh, let's put it on, let's put it on 1250 and see what that looks like and we'll, we'll do a walk through. All right, we're at 1250, let's do this. A little trickle of water here. Not much though. I mean, look at the floor. It's nice and grippy. Footprints. Here's some bedrock. <laughs> it's probably the easiest tunnel I've walked through in a long time. Oh, here we go. We got some erosion here. The stream seems to disappear right there. Not sure where it goes, probably down the fissure. All right, it's getting lower. Probably because it's filling up with, uh, filling up with stuff that's being washed in. Down about four feet now. <laughs> that was fine. Let's see what we got here. It looks like most of the water is coming out of that the north or northern tunnel. And there's got to be another tunnel down there that goes under the, uh, I guess that's, you consider that the modern railroad? Although I don't know how old it is. It could be 100 years old. It's the one they currently use. Get down the stream bed. Wow, this gulch, gulch is going down hard. All right, I can see from here that the uh, there's two tunnels down there too, but they're uh, they're basically just like iron tubes, metal tubes that go right under the track. Couldn't be more than two or three feet high, so uh, I don't really have an interest in those. Let's go back up to the old tunnels and take the, uh, take the northern one back out to the other side. Finding these lightweight, dark, black, somewhat shiny rocks here right around the, the entrance to the tunnel. There's some more. It almost, it almost looks like kind of cold. Kind of has that feel to it. See that? Breaks very easily. 
It's got some kind of organic stuff in there. That's why it's black. Huh. I'll take this one home. I mean, I guess this could be coal that fell off a, a coal wagon or a coal cart. You know? Pretty steep hill there. If something did fall off, it's possible it could roll the whole way down here. Or it could have fallen off the other side and then just the water could have washed it right through the tunnel. This big rock here is loose. That's not a good sign. You can see the level, the different layers of bricks in there. Yeah. That could lead to the whole thing crumbling, at least in the beginning. All right, let's do it. Let there be light. Ooh. 1250, 2500, let's go back to 1250, looks good. It's going to be a snoop way in the beginning. This one is a. Uh, how far does that go, huh? Oh, okay, yeah, let's get out the pointer light. Let's see. Let's turn this one off so we get a better idea. Ah, it goes pretty far. see some kind of waterfall up there. The water's coming from the ceiling or down a small waterfall. And I see a bunch of rocks. Probably about a 50 foot crawl. All right, well this side tunnel that we just found goes up there about 50 feet. Then I can see the water coming down, down almost directly from the ceiling. Maybe another pipe coming in or maybe this tunnel continues on around a bend or maybe it goes up. Uh, let's continue on our way. Anybody's ever crawled up that side tunnel? Got a big pothole there. Yes, yeah, definitely easily <laughs> easy tunneling. All right, we're almost there. Alright, well that's tunnel tunnel number one in the bag. It's actually two tunnels though. Pretty cool. The next one should be uh, right up here. Not very far. The vultures are back. 
the vultures. They're coming. Got one of them sitting. Oh, there he goes. On his way to find a fresh carcass. They're circling right above me. One just landed. I like getting close to. Heck, are they doing? Ah, they're huge. Might be something up in those cliffs there. Something dead. Starting to see the uh, safe harbor dam up in the distance there. Wait, what, man? This is vertical. I see cliffs down below me. And then there's the tracks, and then there's, looks like another set of cliffs. Got to be at least a couple hundred feet above the river. It's a nice flat face of schist here. I can see uh, kinds of anchors in there, rock climbing anchors. There's a carabiner up there. This must be a, a place to climb. Rock climb right here. Nice colors in the rock, too. I noticed that there was like a, a metal handrail here on the side and if you look over you can see they, they put in this huge concrete wall right here it's at a slight angle tilting in I guess it's to shore up the whole the rail bed probably about a 30 foot wall I think maybe uh, our next tunnel is going to be right down there and there's the safe harbor dam. So we're here on the trail to uh, what I'm pretty sure is going to be tunnel number two. This trail is actually really quite established. Uh, low grade trail is right up there. We're heading down into this big V-shaped ravine. And there's a what sounds like a nice size stream coming down off the ridge. So let's go see what we can find down here in terms of tunnels and there it is. Oh wow, this is a big one. Nice little cascade coming down into the tunnel here. All right, so this one's a big, this big single tunnel. Deer carcass. Woo! That thing is stinking. Ah. You found a brick spillway here. I guess maybe they uh, built this to channel all the water into the middle of the tunnel so it wouldn't erode out. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Load! Oh-ho! You can see the floor was originally finished concrete with aggregate underneath it. Then as you get down here, The, uh, over time, the stream has actually cut a channel right down into the into the concrete. Kind of comes back up again there. Continues down the center of the tunnel, but right here, it's all been washed out. And also, over here. Right here in this sandstone boulder, you can see, you can see the original bedding. See those lines in the boulder? Those are the, the actual layers of sand when the rock was originally laid down. There's some over here too. 
Yeah, see, here's a nice, that's, yeah, see that right there? It really pops out when I put the light down. And right here, you get some more of that, that cool looking erosional feature. In the bedrock, here's some more. Look at this. Look at that. Cross bedding. Right here. See that layer and change of color. That was a really cool tunnel. There's a double tunnel, a couple of waterfalls in there. Now we're down by the river. It almost looks like there was something here before they put in this tunnel. Because you can see these blocks right here. And then there's these big chunks over there and there, slabs cemented together. And there looks like an old piece of the wall. So I'm thinking there might have been something here a previous tunnel that they just demolished and blew apart when they put in this new one. And yeah, you can definitely see, see these massive slabs of concrete here. And you can see some old iron rods coming out of this rock. These are the old walls probably. Yeah, you can see an old wall right there. Let's go down and check out the river. This place is awesome. That's probably got to be one of the one of the coolest tunnels I've been in so far in this area. Here we are at the river. Susquehanna. I think this is called Lake Aldred, the lake that's formed in between uh, Safe Harbor and the Holtwood, Holtwood's downriver. I think maybe this island right here 
I think that's Indian Rock Island. I think that's where the um, the the, uh, the petroglyphs are. The ones I was trying to find in that other episode. Operation Piney Island, which is a great episode, by the way. So you guys should definitely check that out. Operation Piney Island, where I actually wind up exploring Brushy Island, which is right next to Piney Island. All right, so I can see where the Conestoga comes out. Conestoga River comes right out there, or Conestoga Creek. There are a few islands down here, not nearly as much as the Holtwood. I'd like to come back here uh, when the water's lower uh, and see what this is like. It might get pretty rocky here too. Yeah, this place is awesome. All right, why don't we go back up through the tunnel uh, and uh, back up the other side and we'll continue on, all right? So far, so good. Here we are! Whoa! Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Alright. Tunnel number two. It's in the bag. Uh, those ravines, man. They're steep. Come back out of there. It's me out of breath. Good cardio though. So, uh, now, question is, do we have enough time to go the whole way up to Safe Harbor, the whole way up to Brenner Hollow? Uh, there should be two more sets of tunnels up here. I don't think I have quite time today. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hike up to the next, next tunnel, just take a quick peek, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up there and uh, we'll come back for a part two and, uh, and see the rest of the tunnels. All right, I think we're here. It didn't take too long. I'm seeing a, a little ravine here. This will be the last one we check out for today. I wish I had more time. I always seem like, always seem to run out of time just as, uh, just as things really get going. Okay. trail there, but I see posted signs. I wonder, let's just go see where this property line is. Maybe this trail goes down to the tunnel. 
All right, we got another stream here. You can tell by the posted signs that property lines running right along there. And the tunnels are usually, I think they're owned by the railroads. Get a uh, certain amount of feet coming from either side of the track. So let's just go take a peek down at this one. And we'll wrap it up. This one's got some serious mate serious masonry going on here. The walls. Got a nice bedrock channel going in. Somebody's dumping tires here though. This one looks like the whole floor is washed out. Nice details there. See the way that the way that masonry goes into the bricks. Very nice. All right, well, this is going to be where I have to wrap it up. As usual, I got to get back to civilization. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's been fun. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you're watching this video, I really appreciate it. I always like having all you guys along, whoever you are. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, please subscribe if you like this video and hit the bell uh, so you get notified when I put new videos out. I'm still not on a regular schedule. Sometimes I'm, I can do a lot, sometimes I can do a little. Uh, but as long as I keep getting out, I'm going to keep shooting these videos, all right? And next time we come here, we'll pick it up with this tunnel right here. Nice, huh? <laughs> All right, this is Brett, Topo Ranger, signing out.